People who've been set free should live like it. Hey, do you feel as though you're trapped in a situation or, or a problem you can't change? Well, if that's you, there's a path to finding real freedom that I can share. Welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. Thanks for joining me. You know, my goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, let me invite you to like, subscribe, and then share it with a friend. Right now, grab a cup, lift it up, and let's talk about living free. So, as he prepares to set the people of Israel free from bondage and slavery in the nation of Egypt, God makes several promises to his people. I'll bring you out. I'll free you. I'll redeem you. And I'll be your God. Now, in these promises, you've got the path to being truly free. First one, I'll bring you out. You know, it's tough to walk away from things that we've found comfort in, even if they're things that are truly destructive to us. But when Christ is invited into our lives, he leads us out of places we shouldn't be. And as we keep yielding to him and his work in us, he makes us more like him. He replaces wrong desires with right ones, destructive habits with things that build us up in him. Yeah, the first key to living free is to let him bring us out. Then he says, I'll free you. That's the promise of internal deliverance. You know, it's been said it's, it's one thing to get the people out of slavery. It's another thing to get slavery out of the people. <laughs> the habits and, and the patterns that were pounded into us by our captors can be hard to break free from, even when we've been brought to a place of physical freedom. This second promise relates to God healing us from the internal impact of sin, kind of rewiring us, as it were, so that sins which once controlled us now don't even tempt us. Inner healing is inner freedom. And it matches the outer freedom he began with. Yet you know, the second key to living free is allow him to work his inner healing in our hearts. Third, he says, I'll redeem you. Now, when I think of redemption, a couple thoughts come to mind right away. Value and purpose. Redemption restores the value of who we are. Specifically, who we are in Christ. Because it's Him who gives us value. One measure of value is, is the price someone's willing to pay for something. Christ paid for you with His own life. You are quite literally worth it all. More than that is the value we gain as we learn to be like Him. As His Spirit fills us and leads us and empowers us, we become valuable tools in his hands. We're able to pray. We're able to encourage. We're able to be witnesses of the amazing work of God in our own lives. Our value is demonstrated in our purpose. As we walk in freedom, we learn to fulfill the purpose God created us to walk in. The third key to living free is to recognize our value and our purpose in Him and become tools of freedom in the lives of others. Fourth promise He gives, He says, I'll be your God. The final element of living a life of freedom is found in the promise of fulfillment. His fulfillment completely changes our internal identity. And that's where today's verse comes in. It says, because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has 
freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. The freedom Christ works in us allows us to see ourselves as truly belonging to him. And with him as our God, we have our identity in who he is. The relationship that we have has transformed not only where we are and how we act, his identity has become molded into us. We love what he loves, hate what he hates, walk in his power. We accomplish his purposes. We reflect his glory, totally freed. When he's our God, we are truly transformed. When he's our God, we can live as people who are free. And people who've been set free should live like it. <laughs> We're out of time again. But before I go, please let me ask you, help me introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and, and then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. Please like this video. It truly does help more people see it. Then click follow or subscribe so that you and I can get together every single day. If you click the link in the description, I'll send you a free copy of my book, Count to One. I'll pop it right into your inbox for you. Hey, one more thing. Do share this with a friend, would you? Because as you do, that makes you part of the team that's touching hearts all over the world with the love of Jesus. Thanks for helping.